Hello everyone, Hat here, and we are back in Football Manager 2022 after a short break, like, like two days break, uh, one day more than I would like, would have liked, but but yeah, I felt ill unfortunately the other day, so I had to cancel the stream. But yeah, now we're back. Now we can uh, load our most recent game. So yeah, I think without further ado, let's do it. And let's continue our Manchester United career, our journey. Uh, also, uh, in terms of like stream announcements, there isn't much. Yeah, I wanted to do this kind of Witcher reaction. I'm a big Witcher fan, so so yeah, all the stuff in, uh, when it comes to Netflix season two, I will try to comment on because yeah, it's it's really interesting to me. Um, and as far as this coalition today, we had to have uh, the stream kind of shortened because of the, the Witcher stuff and and other things also. So yeah, but I will be back um, with this coalition and with Football Manager 2022 as normal um, on Sunday. So yeah, Sunday 5 p.m. CST, everything will be back to normal. Uh, with three or so hours of Disco Elysium and then on 9.30 p.m. CST, more Football Manager 2022. <coughs> right. Uh, so yeah, thank you for joining me. Uh, let's see our situation. We are still um, on first place in the league table, so that's great. We don't have to win the league, mind you. So, so, so we are, you know, performing better than expected, really. But yeah, if you know we we went that far, so we want to win the league. I think uh, it would be cool. Uh, but yeah, it will be tough. Uh, I'm not saying that it won't be. Like Liverpool is only three points behind us, and they have pretty much almost the same goal difference. So this race will be very interesting, won't it? Well, let's hope that we can win it. Okay, uh, and yeah, in terms of our fixtures. Let's see. Yeah, we had a like two day break, so so we have to remember what happened. Uh, yeah, our next match is against Leeds United. Then there is an international break. Then we play Chelsea at home. Then Atlanta. Then Southampton. Tottenham and Liverpool. Like this game right here is shaping up to be the most important. Of the season, um, well, we'll see how it goes. Right, uh, we are playing with United, so of course, you know, every point right now is is very, very important at this stage of the season. So definitely, let's play our first squad and let's see the injuries and, and stuff like that. Also. Uh, I wanted to check if we have a report, a scout report, on Lorenzo Luca, who we scouted uh, a little while back ago, and who Liberty had, had proposed. Where is he? Here. Uh, right. Only sign Luca as last resort, tells me my scout. Although his stats are good, man, and he is like. A tower with great headers and jumping reach, so so he would definitely be useful. But let's see his like. Okay, we don't have yet a full scout report. Potential ability isn't great. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. For now, let's play the the game against Leeds United. Right, we have to deal with the people who are on international duties, and yeah, Victor Lindelof is also on international duty with Sweden. Uh, and Eric Bailey is on international duty, so that's interesting. Hmm. Let's go for Willy Kamvala. And also Hannibal. Alright, let's let's go with Juan Mata. And Shula Shorty. Alright. I think we're ready. Let's save it. 
And let's play another Football Manager 2022 game. I'm wondering if we'll be able to win it. Uh <coughs> right. Hmm. Okay. This is our rival, so appealing to like our fans should work. Yeah, the fans expect a win. Don't let them down. Ah, uh, it worked. It kind of worked. Okay, and yeah, let's let's say that we have faith in them. All right. Everyone besides Paul Pogba reacted well, so. So that's good, that's good. We are playing away, so that's always tricky. We are on key highlights, okay. Yeah, leads are always unpredictable, you know. They, they can, you know, they, they are playing very offensively, so... They can always be tricky. Well, let's see. Fernandez from the corner, Ronaldo... Okay. A good try from the corner. We have a ball, a key highlight. I'm thinking that this is, it is our highlight. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Rashford to Ronaldo. Fernandes, great pass to Green. Holy shit, what a goal. What a goal from Greenwood. Okay, we are starting this day fine, man. Like, what a great pass from Fernandes and what a goal from Greenwood, man. I told a couple of streams earlier that I'm in love with Greenwood and... <sighs> Holy hell, dude. He's proving to be exactly what I'm, I was hoping him to be. Okay. Nice. If we win this match, then it will go a long way. Ronaldo almost with a second goal. <clears throat> I mean, they have chances, unfortunately. So... Uh... It can be a tricky match, but uh, all right, we are winning. We, you know, all the key highlights were ours. Right. Uh, still the plan in the second half. Remain focused. Right. We have to watch Rashford. He's not like 100% ready. I don't think we have to like make some changes. Uh. Right, let's 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 do them. Rashford definitely needs to change. Anthony Martial for him. Also Sancho is dying, so just Lingard for him. And Mason Greenwood needs a change, so let's go with Vlahovic. I have faith in you. Well I hope that I won't have any injuries because if I do, then I'm basically fucked. Alright, that doesn't look great. Three on three. Uh, not great, not great. But Fernandes was in the right place. Great. And Shaw with a counter attack. Great to Vlahovic. Alright, Vlahovic still has the ball. Rashford, Martial. Ronaldo, I'm sorry, not Rashford. Ronaldo to Martial. Van Bissaka, okay, we have still, still have the ball. Maguire. Ronaldo. Vlahovic, Martial. Okay. Nice shot, nice try. A nice try, alright. Let's see. Uh -huh. I'm thinking that we'll have to drop back to phase one if nothing will change. Maybe now, Ronaldo? Great! Let's do that anyway. Because phase one is more defensive tactic and it is less intensive, so the the danger of having an injury is lessened. Yep. And okay, I'm thinking we have some connection problems. As you can see, Vlahovic scored a goal. We lost one also. 
So, I'm sorry about that. Did the connection problems... Went away. Sorry about that. Everyone, I'm very, very sorry about that. Yeah, it, it's, it should be good now. It should be good now. Man, I don't know what's happening. Uh, but I had some problems today regarding my internet. Yeah, let's continue the, the, the match. Fernandes, Ronaldo. Okay, is it the second goal from, for Vlahovic? I don't think so. It looked like he was an offside. On the offside. Well, maybe? Nope, it's a disallowed. Alright. Also, I think you missed the like two goals that happened. So let's let's see them. Yeah, you 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 are here for Cristiano Ronaldo goal. Goal. Let's see Robert's goal. Yeah, they they you know quick counter attack and, and it was two one, but thankfully like two minutes later we were able to score another for us. I don't know why this... Right, this is Vlahovic goal. It was checked by Vieira in terms of offside, but it was good. It was good. So we are leading 3-1. And, you know, another Vlahovic goal, you, you saw that already, so... so. So yeah, it was a corner and, and an offside. Also, I don't know why I can't, like, you know, uh, skip it. I think it's some kind of beta quirk or, or a bug or something, but like, the game does not go to, to even, even if I do only commentary. The game does not go out of this like replay mode, so that's kind of frustrating. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, all right, we're here now. Okay, what the hell, man? I don't know what is happening. <laughs> like I'm now on on the screen. For some reason, and that's there's 86 minutes. Like the game really doesn't like me to to rewind to certain certain points in the match. I don't think. Okay, we ended great. Uh, another win. That's that's very nice. Uh, yeah, definitely. Let's praise them. I'm pleased. Oh. They didn't, they didn't seem that that happy. Uh, I don't know, man. Okay, better not to say anything else because apparently that that uh, team talk didn't go well. Right, but we are six points clear. Uh, I mean, Liverpool has still one more match to play. But we can expect to to save at the start now at our first position. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Liverpool lost. Look at that with Chelsea. Okay, okay, they lost the points. Great, we have six points advantage now. That can go a long way, man. That can prove to, to, to go a long way. Yeah, let's, let's of course, praise Fernandes. All right, let's continue. Now we'll have to wait a little bit because the game has to simulate past the international break, and that can be a little bit tedious. 
but once we'll be able to to deal with that then we have a couple of matches to to play today i'm thinking and before the january windows uh, will close i would like to look for some for some attacker i think mm. maybe lorenzo luca but he doesn't according to my scouts he hasn't he doesn't have that much potential so we'll have to like think a little bit about it also if you weren't here the last stream we signed mbappe i mean we, we signed a contract with him he will g uh, come to us in uh, january so i'm sorry and in, in in july in the next season so yeah but i'm happy we did that our next season should be much easier <laughs> with him in our squad right man the game for some reason is like slow today I have some technical hiccups with my computer lately. Like the internet isn't great. The game is kind of slow. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Also, I'm curious if the January transfer window has the transfer deadline day. In uh, the same way that the summer transfer window has because if it does then I do believe it, it is a little bit like much I don't need to see it every time I don't think okay uh, offer for Hadley I don't yeah I decided to sell him right right like okay he can be good but come on um, Percentage of next sale, fifty percent. They are offering almost half a million. So let's ask for that. Okay, they accepted. That's good for me. All right, they are freaking fighting for him, fighting for him. But uh, I mean, let's try it. All right, it was a little bit too much. What about Watford? Maybe 600k then. And not that of the next sale. 50%. Okay.
a question for us. How do you feel your squad could be improved? Mm. I mean, attack, striker, but if you want like sign one, then then it's not a big deal. Okay, um, Martial is, is has a virus. I'm wondering if it's COVID. Yeah, let's send him home. I mean, 13 days. We don't play any match anyway, so so yeah. Let's send him home, definitely. It's it happens to me like once or twice that when I used the club doctor then like half of my squad was was then affected. So so <laughs> that's always dangerous. It's you know better to to let them go home and does that. Okay, this is freaking slow, man. Sorry about that. Once again, I I don't know why why it's doing that. Mm. Right, we have a, a, a scouting report for Lorenzo Luca, and unfortunately, I mean his stats are good, but he doesn't seem to be that great. Like, would be useful signing. Maybe you know what? Hmm. Yeah, he has almost three stars of potential abilities. Six million when it comes to transfer fee. How much do we have? Uh, you know, we could sign him. But he isn't interested in a transfer. Let's ask an agent. I mean, we are slightly interested. We're looking at a few players right now, but we would be keen to know if Lorenzo Luca is interested in joining us. I know you're considering signing Lorenzo, but he doesn't want to join Manchester United. Oh, under any circumstances he doesn't want to join us? Well, that's freaking strange, isn't it? Why wouldn't he want to join us? Did he, like, sign a new contract or something? I mean, I don't know, let's, let's freaking try it. Oh, he wouldn't get a work permit, I don't think. Right. Okay. Uh, no matter. Uh, right. Well, there goes that idea. You know what, I don't want to take part in the transfer deadline day. Like we, we took part in one of them and you know the UI changes and and that's basically it. And you have to wait for a couple of hours. So <clears throat> Oh, uh I'm not interested in that offer man. Fuck off. They didn't like, want me to negotiate with them. So, so, nope. Also, offer for Pi. I think I want to sell him too, right? Mm. <laughs> oh, it's a loan offer. Uh, yeah, right, why not? Let's accept that. You know what? Oh, how do you sort permit application rejected? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I don't know why work permit was rejected. <laughs> so, why the hell uh, do I have him on my team? That's, that's, that's interesting. 
<coughs> like he can play in my team, I presume, so... <laughs> so that's very strange. Okay, well, shit happens. Um... Hmm. Let's see... Let's go to assignments. Um... Right... Let's go to players. And search for some... Attackers. For some forwards. Strikers. Like, particularly young strikers. Maybe there is some, like, recommendation. Nope. Doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, no, we have some. We have something. Okay, Erling Haaland, right. That's like... <laughs> no, that won't happen. Um, every single one of them is very freaking expensive. Maybe that one isn't. Gabriel Silva from Palmerias. Let's see him. Mm, doesn't look great. But he has great potential ab ability. You know what? I need some someone here. I need someone. Let's try to sign him. I don't know how the work permit will work. I think there can be some problem with it. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. He wouldn't, like... It doesn't work, I don't think. Yeah, he won't get the work permit. Let's see. Maybe this guy. I mean... Financially it looks good. Let's see him. Divin Mubama. Mm. The stats aren't great. Okay, let's see if we can make an offer for him. Right value of Manchester United is reflected in the asking price. I mean, West Ham isn't really my rival, I don't think. Like, they are my league rival, but that's it, basically. So... Right, interesting. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay, I think that's acceptable. Great. I mean, it's only until we have like Kylian Mbappe. So he will only play a couple of matches in this part of the season. And that's it, basically. But we need someone. Like, you know, even if, if at the start of the next season he won't have like any place in my squad. 
then we will just loan him out, and that's it. So, all right. Let's see. Um, yeah, he will be youngster definitely. Mm, nope, I won't promise you anything. Okay, they want more. Maybe let's go for 5k. I believe that you know if he will develop like like a beast it's like he is supposed to based on the star rating then why not but you know if he will not then we will just sell him down the line and that's that will basically be it all right he's set to sign with us it's like it's not a risk, really, even if he's a pile of shit. <laughs> I'm sorry to to call it like that. But even if he's really, really bad, then then whatever. It's not that much money. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Let's let's give this youngster a chance. Right, um, could improve a lot. Yeah, the, the stars definitely changed right now. Let down by signing, I'm sure he will be good enough. Yeah, let's get him to our senior squad. Let's see his stats. Oh, they are bad. I mean, he's kind of good in physical stuff. I wonder. Currently operating on Vanarama National League level. Well, shit, man. Hmm. Well, we'll try it. We'll try it. You know, once Mbappé comes, then then basically Rashford will be in our second squad, and thanks to that, Martial will be playing alongside Vlahovic. So, so it isn't that important, really. We need. To we, we just basically need someone in our squad to 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 be able to play in the striker position and that's it uh yeah shooting okay I don't like this offer. I wonder they they are you know AI is is you know offering me a little bit of money for this guy but he can't sign anything because uh, he doesn't have work permit for some reason that's fucking strange like if he doesn't have a work permit then how the hell is he for us? those rules are, are strange man. Yeah, again, work permit application rejected. Like, what the hell is that? Do 
very freaking strange, man. Very strange. <sighs> and again. And again. I mean, we we'll tried one. Why not? But but holy shit, I'm I'm thinking that I'm kind of wasting my time here for some reason. Yeah, let's go for I don't know, six hundred and fifty. Okay. Like the work permit is. And again, it <laughs> it's rejected. Like it depends also on the transfer fee. So I thought that maybe like increasing it a little bit would be better, but apparently not. Apparently not. All right. Who isn't in our squad? Um. Kamvala, but he's U21. Tuanzebe, but he's on loan. Williams on loan. Gardner on loan. These guys are U21. Yeah, Pereira is on loan. These guys are U21. This guy is U21. Okay, great. Confirm selection. Right, so we're now in February. We're closing in on to the like the most important part of the season, I think. And it will be, you know, important game after important game, really, uh, at this point. Uh, yeah, like I would have to play with my first squad here and here because this is this is Champions League, this is Prem. Maybe with my second squad against Southampton, then with my first squad against Spurs and Liverpool, then maybe with my second squad against Burnley. We'll see how the table will look. Because if we are, you know, very, very close to Liverpool, then I don't think I will give my second squad a chance. Although if I don't, then my first squad will, will basically die from exhaustion. When it comes to like how the stamina operates in in this in this game, all right. Let's see. Mentoring month in uh, month in review. Justin Ingrid has managed to develop a new trait. Tries killer balls often. Can we like sign a new contract with this guy? Like I'm not the biggest fan of Lingard, Lingardino. A uh, contract. Offer a new contract. Okay, we can. Because in earlier negotiations, like, he checked with a red padlock that I would have to play him at the Shadow Striker role. And I don't even have that role in my tactics, so yeah, I said fuck no. But okay, he, he can be maybe persuaded to... To sign the contract now. Let's see. Okay. Let's negotiate them. 85k. How much do you earn now? 80k. Okay. It isn't like that drastic of a change. So so why not? Mm, Two million. Right. Let's go for five years. Why not? And an optional one, one more year. This basically will mean that he will stay at United uh, until the end of his career. Like he never will be a starter, right? But he is useful at at you know being on the bench. So and in my second squad, to be fair. So I don't have anything against that really. Mm. Let's remove that. Okay. 
And also, let's see. I'm, I'm think. Yeah, I think we were able to persuade Pogba, but he doesn't. Like we, we made him an offer that, that he accepted. But he just, you know, just like in real life, he just waits for new opportunities. So we'll see if he will stay with us or if he will go. Fernandez is the player of the month. That's great. Let's continue. You know what? I will let the game simulate because the you know it's eleven days. So yeah, it will take a while, unfortunately. I don't know why, but but loading times are really slowed down today. So yeah, let's just do. Um, all of the registration things. Right now. For some reason, some of my youngsters aren't like qualified for U21 status in Champions League, and that's that's freaking weird, man. Um, yeah, I'm at Diallo. For some reason, he doesn't have U21 next to his name, but he is a U21 player. So, uh -huh. maybe it only like applies in UEFA Champions League to homegrown players or something. Well, that would be weird. Um, right. Hmm. I mean, it's kind of irritating if I'm honest. Let's get rid of... Oh, maybe not. Juan Mata. Let's get rid of Matic. He isn't really, like... That important, I don't think. Yeah, those guys aren't important. Like League Grant, come on, I don't want you. And that's it, basically. Okay. We're good now. Yeah, so just as I said, let the game you know simulate uh, so we will be on like let me go on five minutes break and after that game will be you know simulated to the to the match screen of our next match against Chelsea and we will play the match then thanks for being here be right back okay we're back just like as I predicted the game simulated itself to the Chelsea match. Let's see what important news um, omitted us in this time. Um, yeah, we were here, we were here. Yeah, we, we didn't see this. Multi manager performance, they are quite happy with me overall, so that's good. Um, the squad dynamics is is doing better and better. Uh, right. We registered our players for Champions League. Mm. 
Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo isn't performing well. That's that's like unrealistic, really. But again, Mason Greenwood is the best player in, in the training, so. And Lingard commits the future to Manchester United. Mm -hmm. Great. He will be like 54 when when the contract will end. So so. You know we'll be either able to like sell him, or if not, then if he isn't good enough, we'll just you know don't. Uh, extend his contract and that's it. Mm. Again, the most important f match of the season is for the second time rearranged. And that's interesting. Hey, check Lorenzo Luca, very good striker. Yeah, I checked him earlier. Unfortunately, uh, like. Wait a second. Here. He didn't want to sign. Like, I was prepared to offer him a bit, but uh, when I, like, asked an agent, he told me that, that uh, he won't sign for me. I don't know why, perhaps because of the contracts or some stuff like that. By the way, high liberty. Uh, yeah, he has good heading, but he doesn't want to sign for us, so I couldn't transfer him in for some reason. I don't know why. But, you know, once... Once the season will end, uh, then maybe we will sign him then. We'll see. We couldn't sign him now. Like, um, yeah, see? Lorenzo Luca wouldn't be interested in joining Manchester United at this time, as he only just joined his new club. Yeah. So we have to wait for him. Mm. You know, perhaps when the tr transfer... You know, when the, when the season will end and the summer transfer window will open, then we will try to sign him, right? Uh, okay. We signed, like, some guy who isn't very good, uh, who is 17 years old, who has good potential, and that's it. From West Ham, so we will play him for the for this half a year, and then... We'll try maybe to sign Lorenzo Luca. Uh, right, Bruno Fernandes is injured, by the way. And that's not good. Mm, right. Where was this news about Fernandes? Yeah, here. A robust challenge during a training session. Sports hernia for five weeks. <clears throat> Not the greatest info, unfortunately, because the next matches are very, very like important to us. Mm. Let's see. Okay, this is our first squad. Let's give this new guy here a chance on the bench. Uh, wait a second. Right. Uh, so let's save our first squad and let's modify our second squad with this dude. Yeah, he can't play here. He can't play here. Uh, right. And as far as Bruno Fernandes go and his injury, we have to go with Hannibal here. Juan Mata here. And that's it. I think the rest is of our players are fit. Let's try to win another game. This time against Chelsea. We are playing at home, so it's an advantage. Um, but yeah, it's Chelsea, so it will always be like hard to, to win this sort of game. <laughs> Let's give him 32 after Carlos Tevez. All right. Also, I think. Mm, hmm. Yeah, let's let's say that they have to perform for the fans. Eh, didn't really work. Faith in you. 
I have faith in you. I have faith in you. And let's go to our tactics. And to opposition uh, screen. Because Lukaku will be freaking dangerous. And I'm wondering if I should do this also. In terms of Kai Havertz, yeah, let's also press him. Okay, that's all. For now. If, you know, maybe you'll modify it somehow. Um, let's kick this game off. Right. Even if we, like, lose this match, we still have three points advantage. Uh, when it comes to second Liverpool. So we are safe, relatively safe in the league table, but you know, if we win it, then it will be great. <coughs> I think it's our highlight. We still have the ball. Maguire to show. Alright. Show. Great cross. Holy shit! I mean, okay, it could have been offside, to be fair. Let's see the VAR check. Is this an offside? No, it isn't. Okay, that's a great goal then. Let's see it one more time. Holy shit, like Greenwood is, is absolutely fantastic lately. No, it wasn't offside. Like these first time shots are unbelievable. Yeah, he's clear, he's clear. It's not an offside. Like, it's like the second time in a row, this, this, this stream, so... <coughs> Greenwood, man. Greenwood would be great. And... Okay, Rashford has a chance. Let's see the table. And again, uh, we still have a one more match to, to play. So we are in a good position, man. Varan, eh? okay, nice try. It was a nice pass. Holy shit, what a goal from Paul Pogba! <laughs> Look at that once more. Varan couldn't do it, blocked, but he passes to Pogba, and look at that. He just turned around and and. And put the ball into the net. Okay, I'm relatively safe, I think. I'm feeling quite confident. We should win this match, I think. Yeah, look at that. Maguire. Great. Great interception. Sancho on the right. Holy shit, what a pass. Greenwood to Rashford. Ah, you love to see it, man. You love to see it. What a goal. What a great piece of play. Like, great interception from Maguire. What a pass from Sancho. Great header from Greenwood. And that finish from Rashford. Okay, let's go to phase one. Let's try to enjoy this. Um, maybe on positive mentality. Yeah, let's... The, we are winning 3-0, there is no reason to like push further and and uh, try to You know it's it's better to, to play on lower intensity now because of the injuries and stuff. So I thi I'm thinking this match is is ours. Again holy shit we are destroying Chelsea man we are destroying Chelsea. I'm sorry, Liberty. I think I think you are a Chelsea fan, right? <laughs> so, so that's 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 weird. <laughs> yeah, goal from Ronaldo. But I believe, like in real life, this won't happen right now. Like, if anything, Chelsea would beat Manchester United for now. Okay, goal from Lukaku for one. It's a weird match, man. Like 40th minute only, and 
that many goals. <clears throat> All right. I mean, I have to fucking praise them, right? I'm very happy. And also, uh, yeah, Rashford, Greenwood, and Ronaldo. You are playing well. I think all of my attackers are great. Uh, okay, another highlight. I'm hoping it's not for them. If it will be 4-2, then the game is still open, unfortunately. So let's hope that, the, that this is not the case. Okay, Lukaku with another chance. But the hair comfortably saves it. Just don't fuck up, please. His distribution isn't great, but maybe... Okay, nice pass to Ronaldo. Rashford on the ball. Rashford, one-on-one. -on -one. Almost. Almost, man. Good try. And... Nope. Let's see this highlight and, and, you know, after that we will do some changes, maybe. Okay, Lukaku is always dangerous, man. Mm, oh, fuck! What a save from David De Gea. What a save that was. Okay, let's... let's do some substitutions. Uh, yeah, let's change Cristiano Ronaldo for Dusan Vlachowicz. And maybe... Hmm. Maybe Mar Marcus Rashford for Martial. Yeah, let's do that. We'll leave our last substitution for someone who is very tired or something. Okay, they made a couple of substitutions, like three in a row. Holy shit. Three at the same time. Alright. I don't like these highlights, like we dropped down a little bit and, you know, they are attacking. Almost always. So I'm debating if I should go back to phase 2. If we, like, lose the goal, then I think I'm, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit, man. Right, let's do it. I think if I, you know, stay like this, then I will... There is a risk to drawing this match. So let's try not to do that. Do that maybe. Don't lose a goal now, please. Okay, Vlahovic. He should win the header. He won it. Martial on the left. Okay, that was weak from Martial. That was weak. And they have a chance. No, Varan on the defense. Maguire. Hannibal, Maguire. Well, that was a shitty pass. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. It was almost an, an old goal from Maguire. Well, what a combo. He's almost as bad as in real life right here. <laughs> Okay, but I think we are relatively safe. They are basically attacking us with everything they've got right now. So I'm hoping that... Yeah, let's change show. I'm hoping that maybe... Okay, I thought that maybe one more counter attack. But I will take for two, man. Any day of the week. I'm, I'm happy with that, man. I'm happy with that. And Luke Shaw was apparently the man of the match, so let's praise him. Okay, 
great. And look at that table. We are six points in the lead. Oh no, five points. Five points. Uh, and we still have one more match to play. So... I'm thinking we are comfortable when it comes to Premier League. At least for now. So if we are comfortable, then what we will do is we will play the first squad here because it's an Atalanta game and it's you know very very important for us. The Champions League game. But then when we will play Southampton, we will play second squad here. Then yeah, first squad against Tottenham. Second squad against Balni. We'll see how how much advantage we will have in the Premier League, but. If we will have like five points or more, then, then we will play second squad here and first squad against Atalanta, of course. And then we will just see, you know. Alright, that's a plan. Mm. Let's play Luke Show. <laughs> Let's continue. Okay. Bruno La. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce him. Bruno Lage? Laj? Uh, but yeah, he was fired from Wolverhampton. <laughs> uh, right, let's set these trainings. And Solskjaer is still unemployed. Okay. <laughs> Monthly staff meeting. Request summary. Kind of like I predicted, it's a little bit like... I don't want to attend those. They are boring. You know, maybe at the start of the season they are fine, but... Once you are in the, like, nick of things and, and everything is very important, you just want to play another game. Then uh, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with running with ball down left when it comes to Mason Greenwood. Like that's a stupid idea. That's absolutely stupid idea. Like he is, he's playing on the right here, and he can play on the right here. So running with ball down the left has to be like one of the most stupidest ideas I, I ever read. Like he is great with either foot, so <clears throat> nope, nope. I don't agree with that. Okay, this is this is. I forgot about adding uh, Mua, Mubama to to the tra training unit. And okay, let's do that also. Like eighty percent of the stuff that they are telling me about is not important, and I would like the option to once again. I was like talking about it a couple of times already, but I would like the option to just tell the game to not bring something up anymore but like 10% of this stuff is actually useful so okay uh, once again Juan Mata here Tejas and Van de Beek are suspended that's not a big deal really let's go with Diego Dalo and uh, I'm guessing Fred. <laughs> yeah, we have to have someone in the in the middle. Mm, right. Mm. 
Yeah, and let's add those players here. And Shulash Retreat. Okay. Let's save our game and let's play another match. This one is important. I, you know, the Champions League is not that important as, as, as Premier League. Like, Premier League in my first season is... I want to win Premier League if I have the option to. Like Champions League is is also very important, but not that important for, to me. But still, I want to win it, so let's give it everything that we got. <clears throat> okay, I motivated them. We should win it. Atlanta isn't like that good, right? I mean, in in real life they almost beat us, but <laughs> in terms of like how the game perceives the difference in in our strength, I would assume that we should be relatively safe. Although the game can prove me wrong here in a moment. Now oh, let's see. To be honest, like scoring one goal uh, away would be kind of enough. I would take that as a result because you know the second game is at Old Trafford, so with one goal away we should be safe. Even in a like draw situ situation, you know. <coughs> okay, they are better, it seems. Yeah, let's berate them. Wake up, people. <coughs> Apparently they don't want to wake up, maybe... Maybe we'll intercept the ball, let's hope. Come on. A weird highlight. They're just, you know, passing the ball to each other and nothing happens. Okay, interception, Hannibal, one bisaka We are playing counter-attacking football and quick football, so... There should be something here, Greenwood. Okay, that's, that was stupid. <laughs> but alright, Shaw has the ball. And Ronaldo. Holy shit, that's a goal, I think. That should be a goal. Goal line technology. Let's... Let's look at that, please. I think it's a goal. Like, it... <laughs> the, the... Yeah, it's a goal. I think it crossed the, the line. Let's see the goal line technology. Yeah, it's a goal. Not the greatest of, of camera angles, but still. Alright, great. I'm happy with that, really. Even if they score, then, then I will be relatively safe, I think. Although... Yeah, let's not praise them, really, because... We are having much lower XG for some reason, and they are not scoring that much. So... It should be better. Maybe now. Show. Pogba. Hannibal. Greenwood. Okay. Great pass from Greenwood. And another finish from Cristiano Ronaldo. Alright. I'm thinking that we are safe when it comes to this Champions League. Round of 16. Yeah, let's go to phase one. Let's see this highlight, and if nothing happens, we will do some changes. Because we we have some tired people. Greenwood? Right. 
Uh, we have to change Jadon Sancho for Lingard, definitely. We have to change Mason Greenwood for Vlahovic. We have to change Luke Shaw for Diego Dalo. Right. Let's do that. Okay. Interesting, interesting. A little bit dangerous for us, but nothing came of it. Like, two goals uh, in this kind of scenario away is great. Also, I don't... Uh, like, I'm counting it like the... You know, away goals still count. I'm thinking they do. But there were some news that UEFA got rid of them, so I don't know if it's already reflected in FM22. You know what, I will check the rules and see. Because, you know, I'm very happy right now, but maybe this thing right here, like, isn't that important anymore. Yeah, and we can do more changes, right? Right. In UEFA Champions League, there are four, five. That's also something that that's very that's a weird concept to me. Uh, yeah, let's change Pogba. Oh, we don't really have anyone. Um, I mean Fred, sure. <laughs> let's go with Fred. Why the hell not? I believe that's all the changes, right? That's all the changes. Ronaldo had a chance for a hat trick. Okay, our XG is now bigger. <coughs> Second half was much better for us. Yeah, I'm happy, man. And also, Cristiano Ronaldo is the man of the match. You were excellent. Mm. Right. PSG one with Borussia Dortmund. Let's praise Ronaldo once more. And yeah, I believe it's the time for our second squad to play. Alright, Manchester City chase Haaland. I'm wondering if they will get him, like, Manchester City are shit right now and they fired Guardiola. J they have Jason Wilcox as a interim manager, caretaker manager. So... Yeah, some interesting developments. <laughs> Let's see. Let's hope that we can... You know, like, at least... Drew with Southampton. Even if you drew, then we are in a pretty good situation right now. So, yeah, I'm willing to give my second squad a chance here. Let's criticize Paul Pogba. But let's praise Mason Greenwood once more. Yeah, I want him to be like well rested and. and For the Tottenham game. Uh, 
Right, let's play it then. Uh, Van der Beek is kind of not in a good form. Maybe we'll, you know, change him for Paul Pogba later. Mm. Okay, that's it. Mwamba Mubama, I'm sorry, is injured a little bit. But let's give him his debut. And if he isn't, like, good, really, then, then we will change him for Mason Greenwood. Right, let's do it. Okay, there are some really, really inspired people right now here, so I'm glad to see that. Mubama, his first match in Manchester United shirt and the first chance. And a goal! Holy hell! I didn't expect that to happen. Like, his finishing isn't great, but apparently... What a start of his career, man. In the Premier League. Like, I mean, he played for West Ham United, but still. What a start of his Manchester United career. Holy shit. Okay, okay. That was a nice goal, man. A very nice goal. Yeah, it wasn't like great pass from Diego Dallo, and it wasn't. It wasn't offside. Great finish once more. Let's see his like stats. I'm I'm wondering. Yeah, look at that finishing only eleven. Like his stats aren't great. Okay. Glad I gave you a chance, man. Like he's only seventeen. Maybe we'll be able to to train him into a decent footballer. Like I don't expect him to be the best in the world, but still, he has like four and a half stars of potential, I I think, or three and a half, something like that. So he can be a dec decent footballer that we could like maybe in a couple of years sell with a with a with a profit. Well, let's not celebrate yet, Walker Peters. Great from Alex Tejas. Great job defensively. Then this pass wasn't wasn't that good, unfortunately. But I'm thinking, yeah, there's a counter attack in the air. I think <laughs> there's a counter attack in the air. I smell it. Oh, maybe there isn't. Oh shit! I was wrong. <laughs> that was a wrong prediction. Come on. Maybe that was an offside goal. Uh, uh, unfortunately, it wasn't. Right, and we are level once more. Yeah, it was an offside. It wasn't an offside. But once again, even the draw is good for us. We are still six points clear. The one thing that I don't want to do is lose this match. Maybe we'll win it. Vlachovic. Okay. A nice try. Yeah, let's let's mark Chris Adams. Not happy, they understand that. Let's go to second half. We will change those people in a minute. <coughs> Come on, don't fail me now. 
Walker Peters on the right. Ward Prowse. Well, shit, man. That was close. That was dangerous. Yeah, they are better, unfortunately. Uh, let's do some subs. Mm. Yeah, Antonio Martial is retired. Let's go for Mar Marcus Rashford. Let's go for Paul Pogba. And even though you score the goal and you are having a good game. Let's go for Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's do that. Okay. Pogba to Lingard. Vlahovic, Lingard. Dalo, Vlahovic, Hannibal, Ronaldo. Pogba, Dalo. Okay. We're having a position. That's a good sign. That's a sign that it can be our highlight. I'm hoping that. That it is. Yeah, great ball to Rashford. And. Uh, okay. Good from Ronaldo. Again, the substitutes created this goal, really. I mean, the pass to Rashford from Eric Bailly was absolutely beautiful. But yeah, Rashford to Ronaldo and a goal. I'm glad I did those changes. We are once more in the lead. <clears throat> If we will be able to win this match, then holy shit, shit man. We'll be in the clear here. And Zlachowicz, okay. A nice try for a, for a great goal. Oh, holy shit, what a, what a pass. Hannibal. Uh, they are trying this, these lob goals. It looks great, but but they don't really work right now. <laughs> like it was a second attempt, very similar attempt. The first one from Lachovic, the second one from Hannibal. Uh, uh, okay, let's defend this, guys. I don't think it was a penalty. Yeah, it was a clean. Interception. Rashford to Ronaldo. Ronaldo on the left. Maybe to Vlachowicz. Yes! Bednarek, unfortunately. Jan Bednarek, my countryman, was able to... to mark Vlachowicz effectively. Oh, shit, man. Ah! A post. A post saved us. Right, this match hangs in the balance, man. Very interesting match, very interesting. Like, look at that. One on one now. We should be safe, Lingard, okay. Good work defensively. It was a little bit risky because he had a yellow card already. Okay, we have the ball. Ronaldo. To Tyus. This match hangs in the balance. Vlahovic, oh come on, that has to be a goal. For fuck's sake, that has to be a goal. Like, he was basically shooting a penalty right now. Oh, what a match, man. What an interesting match. Highlight after highlight. Tejas from the corner. Ronaldo. Oh, is it then like a push? Is it a penalty? Usually in this kind of situation, the VAR gives the penalty. Yeah, we have a penalty. Ronaldo, I think from the penalty spot. Right, let's kill this match. Yep, great. 20 penalties. Basically the best penalty taker in the game. Let's go to phase one. And let's kill this match. What a great penalty. Holy shit.
let's defend a little bit. Oh, come on! What the hell was that? Like, f are you fucking serious right now? I specifically, you know, went a little bit lower and they still were fucking asleep in the defense. Like, that's freaking infuriating. Like, you can't do anything about that. Oh. Right. Let's hope that this lead will be enough. It seems to be. Okay, we won this match, but... Holy shit, that was close. That was... That was freaking interesting. Two goals from Ronaldo, who went in in the 60th minute, so... And one from Rashford. No, one from Mubama, I'm sorry. Uh, an assist from Rashford and an assist from uh, Diego Dalot, I believe, right? Right. I think. Uh, okay, let's go to the dressing room. Nice work. Let's not berate them. Mm. Yeah, we have to we have to praise Cristiano Ronaldo, who basically won, does this, won us this match. Uh, okay. And look at that. The three points were the most important thing right now, so I'm happy that we have them. I'm happy that we were, we were able to achieve them in, with our second squad. So our first team players are arrested. They are arrested. Like Pogba, Ronaldo and Rashford played for 30 minutes, but, but that's not much. So great. And look at that. Eight points in the clear. We are having a comfortable lead right now. Still nothing is, is like... We don't know for sure if we will be able to, to hold on to that, but, but I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Feeling pretty confident. And... Huh. Look at that, Liverpool drew once more. And basically only Liverpool can, can like, threaten us with some kind of title challenge right here. So, again, the lost points. If we win the next match, we will be 10 points clear. And we still have uh, a match at Anfield, so... Yeah. I'm thinking we might even be able to I don't know who exactly how points wise it will it will go down, but I'm thinking if well, we will be able to win all of those matches and go to Anfield with that kind of advantage and then win out with win at Anfield, then virtually it would be impossible for us to lose the title race. So I'm hoping that will be the case. Oh, sorry, uh, misclick. I didn't mean to click that. Uh, Pogba is injured, but for a week, okay. Uh, he should be kind of ready. He should be orange when the Tottenham match will come. So, we'll see. We'll see how he will do. Champions League games. Uh, Alright. Yeah, City will win with Besiktas, definitely. And, alright, this is an interesting match, Atletico versus Inter. <laughs> Eric Bailly is injured, like, oh, th these injuries are, are weird, man. Okay, Barcelona versus Chelsea and Liverpool versus Real Madrid, let's see who will win in this Champions League draw. Oh, yeah, that seems accurate. Chelsea destroyed Barcelona. And Liverpool destroyed Real Madrid. I mean, yeah, okay. The Spanish football is in, in, the, their, in its greatest moment right now. In terms to, to 
history, so ah, that checks out. That checks out. And Lindelof's injured. Like holy shit, what is happening, man? All right. Uh... You know what? I'm feeling kind of tired, unfortunately. I'm still a little bit ill. Um, yeah, our Disco Elysium stream uh, earlier was was like very short too, and I'm thinking I will end it right here also because. But there aren't many viewers here anyway, and uh, I'm just feeling tired, man. I I, I was feel, um, I'm sorry, I was ill yesterday. I don't feel that well today, also. So let's end it here. Uh, sorry about that. Um, as I said, when I come back on Sunday, then I will attempt to have normal stream times. So so you know, three hours of Disco Elysium and three hours of Football Manager. But right now I have to give myself a little bit of a break I think um, so thank you for understanding that and uh, also yeah just as I said as you can probably infer from what I just told you um, tomorrow will be my day off um, I will be back on Sunday uh, at 5 p.m. CST to play some more Disco Elysium then at around 9 30 p.m. CST we'll go back uh, to Football Manager 2022 and start with the match against Tottenham. I'm sorry about like this short stream, but I really like have to go. Mm. Not feeling too well. Not feeling too well, man. Hoping that that in two days it will be better. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. See you on Sunday. Uh, have a great day, great night, wherever you are on the globe. Um, I'm hoping to see you. Uh, soon. Bye-bye.